this opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. They can see the over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great one. All right, coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. Science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing is certainly his bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team, and that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different athlete, yeah. you decide you want to fight mixed martial arts, it's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab, it always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has the ability to switch dancers from conventional to southpaw and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights up. Better jab than your guy, Rosendo Sanchez. Oh, it's no. unbelievable. He put Rosendo Sanchez to shame. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Here once more, Ladies and this gentlemen, Bruce Buffett. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Monster! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting at Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, get the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? round is underway here we say in mixed martial arts it's one thing to have the reach advantage it's another thing to use it we'll see if he can get that jab down he has got to fight tall he's got to stay at range use his length to give his opponent problems trying to bring the fight into a closer distance big punch land Ooh. oh 
Do you believe that another head kick lands? Gotta start raising that guard or this is gonna be the end. You gotta start raising the guard and guiding that head kick down back towards your feet. You cannot take him clean and you cannot take him Whoa! Clean. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. How's he going to follow this one up? Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. <laughs> Telegraph that spinning back fist. He is all about that left kick to the body. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Back and forth we go! Trying to do damage now with the kick, that's a miss. Big head kick land. Lee gets caught with that punch, his chin is held up thus far. Gotta show up the defense here though. Nice head kick. He loaded up there on that high kick. Big knee to the body. And they set it. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Now we'll get you some highlights, DC, from that previous round. You know he's got a penchant for landing those head kicks and certainly found that form in that previous round. Very rarely do you get a fight where a guy gets kicked in the head this many times. He better make some adjustments. He better keep his hands up or he's going to go good night very soon. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Let's round two it. here. Still nice body kick land. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Goes back to that left kick once again. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Oh, huge block. You got the turn on the next hit. Big power shot there. Over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. Man. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him see the right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great one. Back to the feet. Big elbow there. How good is that right? Shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Big head kick. Great punch landed with so much power. They continue to exchange. He's trying to double up on that jab. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Right punches there. 
Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and a pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Head kick. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. That's a way to leave an impression on the judges in big picture, I think. Lee's got his head. Let's see if he can secure a guillotine choke here. This fight, folks, you see he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Nicely done there to keep his hands up and block that strike. But he's got to protect that cut if he wants to keep the doctor out. He's got to protect the cut, John. But he's also... Oh! Oh! Back to the feet. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh! He's out! He got him! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rim. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but... Don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has come to stop to this contest at one minute, 58 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon!